Okay, let's talk about less than and greater than. And what are we talking about when we say this phrase here, less than or greater than? Well, we're talking about inequalities and inequality symbols. So which one of these symbols here is the less than? Well, it's this one here. This one happens to be the greater than. How about this one? What do we call this one here? Well, this would be the less than equal to, and then this one is the greater than or equal to. So if you've ever been confused about these basic inequality symbols, well, uh, stick around for a couple minutes here and we'll clear up any confusion. I'm gonna give you some nice simple ways to um, ensure that you're using the right symbol in the right situation. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out big time. Okay, so let's get into less than, greater than. Of course, this is less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. But um, let's get into this now by first just talking about some basic, basic, obvious things. So why do we use inequality uh, symbols in the first place? Well, typically, we're making a comparison between two numbers or two values. So let's take this, uh, for example, we have five and nine. So what would be the appropriate symbol to use here, okay? Well, we can look at this and say, well, five is less than nine, okay? We can think to ourselves, five is less than nine, so we would wanna use the less than symbol right here. So again, which is the less than symbol? Well, it's the one that looks like an L, okay? That's the best way to remember this. If you look at this symbol right here, it looks like the letter L, like less, okay? So you can kind of see this is kind of going this direction, whereas this one is not. This is like a backwards kind of L. So this is not, this is greater than, okay? So this is less than right here. So we would want to use this symbol, okay? Because this is going to um, uh, have the correct comparison between these two numbers. Five is in fact less than nine. Now, another way to think about when you want to use uh, or how to use um, or how to choose the right symbol um, in terms of an inequality symbol when you're comparing two numbers is think of these little less than or greater than uh, symbols as like little alligators. Let me kind of see if my little art is doing pretty good today. So let's make some little teeth here, right? Like uh, think of this thing as a little alligator, something like this. So the alligator, okay, is always going to want to eat the biggest number, okay? So here's our little alligator. So if you look at this right here, five and nine, the alligator is gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna try to eat the, the nine right here, okay? <laughs> That's another nice basic way to think about it in terms of what is the right uh, symbol to use, okay? Five is less than nine. The alligator is trying to eat the nine, so there you go. All right, so let's take a look at this example, nine and five. So uh, we'll just use our alligator situation. Uh, which uh, number do you think the alligator is gonna want to eat? It's gonna wanna eat the bigger number. So we'll use this num uh, symbol right there, which of course is what? The greater than, okay? So nine is greater than five. Okay, so again, basic um, comparison between two numbers, you're gonna use inequalities. We have, again, the less than, it looks like an L. This one is the greater than. This is less than or equal to, and this is greater than or equal to. So the equal to um, uh, symbols are actually, you can kind of think of these as a combination of, for example, less than and equal to, and greater than and equal to. So we don't put the equal sign and the greater sign here. We just go ahead and just write it as one symbol like that. All right, let's talk about those um, less than and equal to and greater than or equal to. So let's take a look at this situation, three and three, and then we'll compare three and three over here. So here in this um, uh, comparison, you're saying, well, three is uh, equal to three, right? Well, we don't have the equal sign right there because this is a uh, an equation, okay? This equal sign is not inequality, right? These right here are inequality. So if you had to choose between these symbols, which one could we use? Well, you're like, well, uh, which one is the alligator gonna wanna eat? They're both the same. Well, in this situation, you could have this, three is less than or equal to three, okay? Three is less than or equal to three. So this is using the word or, okay? This comparison right here is saying three is less than or equal to 
uh, 3. That's what this actually means. And so you can also make the same case right here is 3 is greater uh, greater than or, or equal to 3. So in both of these situations right here, these would be correct. Okay, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So here 3 is greater than or equal to 3. Now, in uh, mathematics, we often um, graph inequalities. Okay, this is especially important for those of you that are taking any uh, sort of algebra course. So let's talk about these different um, inequalities. We'll start off with less than. So what if I wanted to graph x is less than 3? Okay, x is less than 3. This is the inequality right here. And what is it saying? Well, it's saying all numbers that are less than 3. All numbers x that are less than 3. So how do I plot this? Well, you want to draw yourself a nice little number line like so. And then you're going to go to this number, which is 3. You're going to draw a circle. Okay, and that circle is going to be open. Okay, we'll talk about the difference between an open and closed circle, circle here in a second. But just know that if you're dealing with a less than or greater than situation, you're going to have open circles at these particular values. So you're going to put an open circle at 3, and now we're going to draw an arrow emanating from that circle, and it's going to be going towards the direction where the numbers that are less than 3. So where are the numbers less than 3 on a number line? Well, if this is 3, well, numbers that are less than 3 would be like 2, 1, 0, of course, all the negative numbers. So your arrow is going to be pointing in the direction of those numbers. Okay? So this is the graph right here of the inequality x is less than 3. Again, uh, those of you that are taking algebra need to understand this. Again, this is an open circle. Let's go ahead and do uh, this problem. Okay, we'll use the greater than uh, symbol. Okay, and it's x is greater than 5. All numbers that are greater than 5 is a solution to this inequality. So again, we're going to plot 5. We're going to plot this number, open circle, and then where are all the numbers that are greater than 5? Well, you just have to kind of uh, think of, uh, you know, if you uh, really need to do this, put in a few numbers on the left and right-hand side of 5. So here, 4. Is 4 less than 5? No. Is 6 greater than 5? Yes. We want all the numbers here, x, that are greater than 5. So you got to read this inequality. All numbers x that are greater than 5 is in this direction to the right of 5. Okay? And notice this arrow does not, um, it emanates from this circle, okay, at this particular number. So what we're saying here is that all the numbers that are greater than 5 are a solution to this inequality. However, 5 itself is not a solution. But now let's take a look at when 5 uh, could be a solution. And this is when we're dealing with the less than equal to and greater than equal to, okay? So we're going to take a look at the same inequalities, but we're just going to fix them up a little bit different. And here we're going to look at x is uh, less than or equal to 3. So this is the same problem as they just uh, did. However, now it's just equal to. So what you're going to do is, again, you start off with this open circle. You're going to draw all the numbers, or you're going to draw an arrow to all the numbers that are less than 3, but here, notice that my circle now is closed, okay? So it's closed. You have to very specifically to draw in and close that circle. But what does that mean? It means that the number 3 is uh, in and of it, uh, the number 3 in and of itself is a solution to this inequality statement, okay? 3 is, in fact, less than or equal to 3. So to show that, you circle in 3. That means that 3 is a solution also to this inequality. X is less than or equal to 3. Okay, so that's a closed circle. And then we'll take a look at this last example right here. X is greater than or equal to 5. So you just start off just like the um, regular greater than uh, graph. So you're going to draw an open circle at 5. All the numbers that are greater than 5 are in this direction. And 5 itself is, in fact, a solution. So you're going to go ahead and fill that in. So just remember, anytime you have a less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, those are going to be closed circles Okay, on your graph. A less than or greater than will be an open circle. Okay, so hopefully this has cleared up any confusion on basic inequalities, this less than 
greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to. But if you've been confused about this, well, join the club. A lot of students get confused on this, and then they make these little errors, and those little errors translate into a lot less points you could get on a quiz or test. Okay, so better to just to review what you need to review. There's nothing basic in math. Okay, if, you're, if you have questions on something, you know, even though you might think it's basic, you need to go back and look at that. Okay, and you'd be surprised at how many students even in like more advanced mathematics, have forgotten a lot of this basic stuff. So don't feel bad about reviewing what you need to review. And hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need additional help with inequalities, okay, um, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a... Um, uh, full inequality chapters in all my algebra courses, so whether that be pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, whatever the case is, inequalities is a huge topic in mathematics. So I would definitely check that out. Of course, you can find all that information in my math help program. And I also have additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out with inequalities as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.